Photoshop's hue saturation adjustment layer just got updated, making it easier for you to make changes to individual colors when editing your photos and designs. Let's have a look at what this is about. This is currently available only in Photoshop beta. In order to install the beta version, go to Creative Cloud, then head to Apps here on the left, click on the beta section, and here you have Photoshop beta. Keep in mind that Photoshop and Photoshop beta are two different apps. First, let's go to Photoshop 2025 to see how the old hue saturation settings work. At the bottom, you can click on the adjustment layer icon and here select hue slash saturation. We have a few presets available in the first drop down menu and then here we can target individual colors. But these colors are pretty general. So for example, if I select blue then try to change the hue, it also changes the purple shirt on the left. Also, if we zoom in, we notice how the color looks pretty pixelated. To correct that, you have to drag these handles to refine the color range. But now, if we switch to Photoshop Beta, here we can try out the new version of Hue Saturation. We first notice there's a new button in the contextual taskbar to adjust colors. If your contextual taskbar is hidden, just right-click somewhere outside the photo and then choose to show the contextual taskbar. You can also show it by going to Window, and here you have to check Contextual Taskbar. But let's add a new adjustment layer and select Hue slash Saturation to see the Refresh tool. I'm going to drag the window on this sidebar so I can enlarge it for you guys to see everything more clearly. Here we notice a new preset for the prominent colors, which will automatically select six shades from our photo that we can modify. All we have to do now is select the color we want, and when we change the hue, we can see a significant improvement in the precision with which Photoshop changes the color. There's no more pixelation, and also the color range handles are bigger, so it's easier to refine that. The lightness also works significantly better, like if I zoom in, there's no more pixelation. You can access these same settings from the contextual taskbar. Basically, when you select the background layer, you can then click on Adjust Colors, and here a menu will show up to choose the color and adjust the settings. All the changes will be saved in an adjustment layer, so you can come back and make edits afterwards. One last cool thing I want to show you is that when you make changes to a color, you will be able to see the before and after in the circle representing the color you have updated. What are your thoughts on this? Is this something that's going to help you in your workflow? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to visit the Creative Society website for design resources, music, and more. If you want to continue learning, check out this other video on the screen. Thank you, and see you next time. This is Creative Society.